people so I promise you all a rip we're gonna do a rip today and it's gonna be nitro and it's gonna be the modified Virtus RCR modified and uh, running an OS P3 gold plug it's the only plug that I'll run in any of my point 21s unless it runs a glow plug so I've actually already run the Virtus in the 8X Elite uh, 41001 Novorossi header and the VS Roddy Hypex 2135. So it was a good bash session. I did a lot of bashing outside the video. Damn GoPro, man. I saved some good uh, footage for you guys. So I wanted to go over a couple of things real quick uh, on the unboxing and the installation of the parts that I did yesterday. Uh, no big deal on the Uber RC version 2 uh, super spikes. Badass. I can't wait to get these in the field. Get them ripping. Badass platform right here. If you have a chance to get a low C5B, do it. Just do it. All right, so shout out to uh, you know who you are and um, you know all the people that are keeping me straight in line in a straight line. Uh, I appreciate you. Um, as I said, there's no instruction manual on a lot of things that we do on these fist scales. Uh, apparently, there is an instruction manu manual on the RC Max website, which I did not uh, look at. We just figured it out. Um, and. <laughs> It's funny because uh, apparently, evidently, uh, I had the uh, bars mounted the wrong way. I had them on the inside because to me that seemed a little more logical, uh, a little more durable. But uh, that was not the proper way. And I wasn't able to put the carbon fiber plate that keeps everything tight and right up here. Plus it looks badass. Um, so I did fix it when I got home. It bothered me all freaking day. <laughs> And uh, when I got home, I fixed it. There was still some modification. It, it still is not a direct bolt up. Uh, I had to modify down here with some different holes because once I got everything set in where it needed to be, it had a little angle on it. So we fixed that. And uh, it's badass now. It, it's the way it should be. Uh, the proper amount of space in between. Uh, carbon fiber top plate mounted up tight and right people um, badass so this is the way it's supposed to be these are supposed to be on the outside not the inside and the main reason for that is you could do it the other way I mean it's still badass but it looks much better like this and um, uh, you can use the cage no problem the way I had it before the uh, bars on the inside it was taking up this hole I still could have used this hole but it had a lot less space in between here and here now it's shifted over it can go all the way down and we can run the cage proper so uh, you know who you are Jason I appreciate you man always keeping me in a straight line man I don't listen to a whole lot of people there is a handful of guys that I do and you know who you are and I appreciate you uh, you know all in all there's one thing that I'm never gonna be and that is someone's puppet I will never be someone's puppet I'm gonna do what the hell I want and I'm gonna spend the money the way I want to spend it but there's a lot of good advice out there and I appreciate you guys I appreciate the guys that give the advice and you know say hey but you do you whatever makes you happy because that's what it's all about making you happy in the hobby yes you want to do it the right way uh, but there's also more than one way to skin a cat, if you know what that means. Uh, my mom used to say that to me all the time, along with a bunch of other weird shit. Um, like, uh, one in one hand and shit in the other. <laughs> okay, mom, thanks, I'm only six. <sighs> Stupid. Alright, guys, so can't wait to get it in. We got it right, tight and right, everything is straight. I tried it a different way and a different way and everything was leaning. Uh, the bars were out this way, they were out that way, it was too tight, it was too far apart, it wasn't working. But once we, we got it to where we needed to be, um, there, there are a lot of guys out there that have so much knowledge in this. And, you know, this is just something that I'm learning. I've only been into maybe a year, a little bit more than a year with the original FT360. And I tell you, 
if you wanted to get into fifth scale and you want it to be affordable for you from the jump get a Rovin or King Motor. King Motor has that deluxe version with some of the, the upgrades, the hop-up parts. The I need to invest in a new GoPro. Maybe a 10 coming. Hey, hey. Uh, the 7 sucks ass, people. So, anyway, that that uh, deluxe Rovin um, comes with the upgrade parts. There's an orange one with orange billet and there's a black and silver one with the silver billet. Uh, pretty much this and, you know a, a lot of upgrade parts on there you know obviously not rc max and some of the badass stuff that we got on this thing but this thing has some roving parts on it as well like this beautiful polished chassis here man all this is roving i de-anodized it this is roving here uh this is all rc max these uprights here are roving this is all uh turtle racing um it's just a mixture of a bunch of different things hostile got the Rovin 10 millimeter shocks it, it, there's a list I think there's like 25 27 companies that I that I used and I I put them in the video for this so get one of those King Motors or one of those Baja I suggest King Motor go on eBay don't go straight to King Motor if you go on eBay you can make an offer man uh, I've seen people getting these things they're like six six sixty nine or something like that for the deluxe version and Put an offer in for 500 bucks, man, 490. All they can do is say no, but I've seen people getting these as low as $470, and it's a great way to familiarize yourself with this hobby. Fist scale, badass, progress from there, learn, break it down, check it out, see what it's all about, man. That's how we do it, people. So, all right, I just really wanted to show you all that, wanted to give you all a little bit of ripping footage. Um, did have one little boo-boo so kind of cut my my rip a little bit short let me show y'all real quick uh right here and this happens man you see in the video that, that this thing was was uh there's a word in spanish called uh tueco and basically it means crooked this girl's crooked in the air comes down crooked lands on its side but you can see the uh, dog bone popped out right there. It's just from hitting hard on one side. Everything else worked badass. This pipe, this header, this Novorossi modified uh, Virtus is a badass. Work on your tune. If you don't have a perfect tune, it's okay, man. But the more you work at it and the more you experiment, you can perfect that. I, I didn't, you know, nobody really hands-on showed me how to tune. Not even my hobby guy elliot man shout out to you elliot again you're badass but nobody ever showed me how to tune i just watched certain people and like still for life and jq and listen to a lot of other people like uh uh family affair and stuff like that and just took my time and if it wasn't right i wouldn't come in until it was so keep working at it you'll figure it out it's all part of the hobby guys but this, this is my passion right now that I'm into. Uh, but this is my love. Nitro will never go anywhere. Um, we're going to rip probably the 8XT next. Right here with this badass modified .28. And the uh, 9886 Super Strong 41032. Bam! Right there, people. So we'll see how that works out. And uh, I have to put this thing up here because when I have the body it pushes down on here that, that's something else I need to work on we need to start uh, investing in some new bodies man my bodies have been beat to hell I need to work oh there's something else the screws the thing is about wings too man when you battle these things uh, a lot of times once it comes out like that we'll pull it apart here and then I'll, I'll put a couple of small washers in there so the screws don't pull through so you can see it's, she's not rolling very well. It's because that dog bone's out. We'll get all that fixed up here in a little bit. You know how we do it. You know how we rip all this stuff. We beat it. We battle it. We bash it. And then when, when it comes out the next time, it looks brand new again. Because we clean it. We take pride. We take our time. We do it right. So don't just run something like this all dirty and put it on the shelf and forget about it. You know, I don't run after run oil anymore. I used to. I used to run uh, Amsoil MP and Amsoil uh, uh, synthetic air tool oil. 
but the oil packages in in bones brew is really good even this red max man i, I got i got people that that were running the red max after we we showed it on our channel and they love it man it's a very consistent fuel you know if bones brew wasn't around or certain other uh companies weren't around i wouldn't hesitate to run red max man it, it's it's a fuel company that's been around for 25 30 years man it's good stuff yes airplane fuel stuff like that but it's all in the oil package you know they they get this nitromethane all from the same place man so that that's that's poppycock and hogwash so red max is good fuel don't hesitate they will make it any blend that you want but i'm sticking with the bones for now i mean they're even the same damn color man um, I'm sticking with the bones. It, it's it's done me right. It's done me well, and it's the cheapest. So, 170 bucks for the Red Max, but you get 16 gallons. So, 12 gallons with Bones Brew for 100 bucks shipped to your door. And, and granted, guys, 165, 170 dollars for 16 quarts, but that's also shipped to my door. So, uh, a little price difference there, but there's more volume, uh, more quarts and a little bit more cost so uh, something else that I, that I recommend guys right here I've got two of them one for my 5b one for the uh, uh, Chinaderos the nitros these are badass cases man they're like 60 bucks on a main protect your radio protect your investment this at one time was top of the line man this is the Futaba 4pk super R super response and and you can still get the uh uh what you call it the receivers for these this is what i run in these r6 14 fs uh they were a little pricey at one time this one's 120 but you can find them on uh ebay cheaper and you can also run the i think i've got a spectrum in this one right now Ugh, i don't run spectrum anymore but you can run the um r334 sbs also so that will also work in the old 4P, uh, 4PKs. So just make sure you, you check before you go buy receivers and, and try to bind them up to radios because some won't. Uh, you definitely got to stick with surface receivers and surface radios. Uh, I don't think you can use a, a, an air receiver, an AR in a uh, surface. But anyway, badass, badass freaking case, man. Keep your radio protected. Uh, this one comes for the Futaba specifically, but not that Futaba model for the new one. Um, and uh, I think the 4PLS. So had to cut it out a little bit to make it fit. But that doesn't matter, man, because this, this freaking thing is protected, man. This beautiful radio is protected. You can put spare batteries down in there. Whatever you need, man. It's badass. Look at that. There you go. Boom. Throw some glow plugs in those little holes if you want. And they have cutouts, so you can put whatever you want in there. You can cut it to whatever spec. You could probably put any radio you wanted in that. I think it's worth it. 55, 60 bucks all day long on, on A main. Plus, you can sticker them up, man. Don't mind my granddaughters. She she loves playing with toys in here. She loves hanging out. She loves spinning the wheels. Uh, obviously, her little ladybug chair, I'm fixing it. And this is some stuff we're trying to get rid of. So, um, this weekend, as long as it's not raining, both of these platforms are going out to the soccer field. And we're going to run the hell out of them. We're going to try these super spikes, these vipers. And definitely going to try this out. So, um yesterday i was not kidding guys big bore a lot of guys are wanting me to build a hybrid things like that again i don't let nobody spend my money for for me um I'm, I'm i am gonna check into building a hybrid uh outlaw and uh, i think it's the outlaw and see where we go from there um i do agree that it might be a little bit better platform suited for the big bore um but we'll see I love the Baja, man. I'd love to see the Baja in that platform, but you're definitely not going to keep the front wheels on the ground. So uh, I'm really interested to see what these tires do, these Super Spikes Genesis uh, with the modded ESP out there at the soccer field, and see what's up with this new Bartolome torpedo pipe. I love the Victory RC pipe. Badass pipe, a lot of bottom end. Uh, I do know that the Bartolome, it says, and people have told me that it, 
they're more for a lighter race uh, race environment but have explosive uh, bottom end as well so we're gonna find out we're definitely gonna see it sounded good it was pretty uh, punchy right here in the yard that first day when I showed it so we'll see we'll see how the gearing is and all that but everything else is beautiful on here the the version 2 turtle racing servo saver the IRP links everything is golden it's golden pony boy for you guys that that get that little saying so uh, one of my favorite movies out there all right guys I appreciate y'all remember treat people the way you want to be treated uh, we did pick up a few things I went to Home Depot just to get and I'm gonna show you all this real quick this is a silicone spray that I use. Sometimes I'll douse the whole platform after I wash it with MP, uh, just because I can. And uh, But generally this is what I use right here. It's uh, PB Blaster silicone. And there must be a shortage of silicone spray because a lot of the auto parts and things don't carry it. But if you have a Home Depot, this is almost half the price that you will pay for it at your local AutoZone. Uh, O'Reilly's or wherever I pay 387 at Home Depot and it's like eight bucks at the auto parts so try to go to Home Depot not even Lowe's man Lowe's is more expensive but try to go to Home Depot it's cheaper man you can get a better deal on that but uh and this is badass too the Amsoil silicone spray but it's a little pricey and when it goes on it goes on wet as hell so anyway we went to Home Depot um, I picked up another tuning driver. It's just a husky, but it's a lot better here for the fifth scale a lot longer a lot easier to uh, Manipulate than the um, this is what I normally use. This is the low C right here And, and this is just better. It's longer. Um, I think my father-in-law has got a couple of craftsmen this same size here uh, I don't know what this is uh, number eight or three sixteenths or something like that But it's great man for seven bucks shit you can't beat it man badass little uh i don't say little long it's a long one that's for sure but uh and then we picked up a few more things i'm about to do some work in my master bathroom we're going to be replacing some flooring and baseboards and redoing that in there and uh needed to pick up some uh new drill bits and um uh picked up yeah, drill bits. These are multi-use uh, metal, wood, plastic, fiberglass, whatever. Dewalt. These are the uh, black gold. Uh, nine bucks, ten bucks for this. This is all I need right here. I'm always looking, digging through here. I've got tons of wood bits and stuff. And don't look at this drawer. This is kind of my catch-all junk drawer. But uh, you know, always looking for for bits. I've only got one or two that are for metal the rest are for wood and whatnot but um uh so while we were there man 10 bucks just get some uh when i was over drilling those parts i was searching through there had to find that certain one it just happens to be large enough 3 16 or something um and then we went ahead and got a bit set because uh all my bits are all tore up uh 15 bucks i think for that so I love Home Depot, man. It's dangerous. I go in there to get silicone spray and I come out paying 75 bucks. What the hell? But it is what it is. That's what happens when I go in any store. So, all right, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed the, uh, hope y'all enjoy the ripping video. I always forget. Did I do the talking shit before or after? No. I might do the running videos first when I'm making the video because... I don't want to do it. I, I don't want to waste the sunlight and get out there. But then I come in, I do my talking video, but the talking portion I put at the front because if you guys got the running video first, you wouldn't even listen to the talking part of it. Well, some of you would. Some of you are interested in the hobby, but uh, most of you would just run through it real quick. So um, anyway, I that's how I do it. I do the running video and then I do the talking video, but I put the talking video first and then the running video. So that's just the way it works people all right i appreciate y'all oh what i was saying earlier is uh we need to invest in some more bodies i'm gonna pick up two sets of bodies for every one of my platforms and uh believe it or not people we are going to be having another nitro platform coming as well uh and it is a buggy and it is a mugen so that gives you uh an idea and you probably already will know so 
latest greatest Mugen buggy on the way to the Woogie Nitro barn eventually I got to be careful though man because we definitely want the uh, we're definitely going big bore this weekend we're gonna choose what we want um, a lot of people man potato mire you know get the get the 80 get the 80 I'm not going all that right away man I'm still new at this baby steps I'm going bigger than a 40 GT maybe a 50 GT or something like that we'll see uh, but that new 80 they got over there the uh, Diablo that's a bad mofo but I don't think I'm ready for something like that baby steps learn as we go uh, I know there's different uh, mounting brackets there's different ways of doing these things it's going to be a whole nother world a whole next level next -er level people so i love that saying man next -er level i love it and i'm not being funny either i actually like it I also like brand new use i think that's badass it was genius when he said that all right guys i appreciate y'all each and every one of y'all all the great comments, all the people that keep me in that straight freaking line. Uh, I got to learn to take this thing off of Zoom. Boom, boom, Zoom. And, uh, you know, all the guys that keep me in a straight line, I appreciate you. All the good comments, all the good feedback. Uh, shout out to the two guys that give me the thumbs up on every video for the past six months. I love you guys. I love y'all too, man. Uh, we're all in this hobby together. It doesn't matter if you don't agree with me or you don't like me Because uh, I don't give a shit You don't have to like me. You don't have to agree to me uh, we're, we're all in this for fun and um, I appreciate your input regardless even if it's negative um, Now if it's too negative, I'm just gonna block your ass All right, people. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all treat each other the way you want to be treated and uh We'll see you on the next video, man. We'll get out. All right, let's do it before the uh, sun goes down. This is a beast, man. Jump this girl. I need to clear out some of these rocks, man. Y'all know what 
plug I'm running. OS P3 Go. P3 Gold. Best turbo plug for your point .21. I don't care what anybody says. All right, get in the danger zone for Nitro Mike. I've been meaning to put that spring on the uh, uh, steering servo instead of that blue grommet. No harm, no foul. It's just so squirrely with that that blue uh, grommet instead of the spring. You guys that know the 8X. You guys that know the 8X Elite. You can either put a spring or that blue uh, spongy like grommet. I turned down my steering thumb too. <laughs> Little chassis slap. It's like the net in baseball or football for the field goal. That's enough danger zone. <laughs> 